have a lot of cans in my pantry that have uh, probably expired. And I also have a lot of meat in my freezer that has been stored for quite some time. So uh, my question is, is this food safe to eat? Thank you very much for the question. Indeed, it has been a popular for us in the last few months. My name is Olga padilla Secor. I am a professor of food science at Cornell University. I have been here for 23 years and my passion is food. So uh, you have a question about uh, the safety of canned products in your pantry, maybe things that you have forgotten you had there, or even in your freezer. And will they be safe to eat? The short answer is yes, if they are in good uh, condition physically, and you follow the recommended procedures for the manufacturer and how to handle those products, especially the ones from the freezer. So let's talk about canned foods because that's uh, something that is uh, very interesting to look at the different options that are there. So we know our typical can, like canned fruits or the canned vegetables that we're very used to, uh, also canned meat, like canned tuna. We also refer to canned foods as products that come in a jar, glass jar that is uh, hermetically sealed. Even in a plastic container, like some of the baby food or some of the other op offerings right now in the marketplace, or even in a cardboard like this that requires no refrigeration, where you see things like uh, some of the uh, chicken broth or meat broth, or even some of the plant-based milks or juices. They're all considered canned foods because they're shelf stable and require no refrigeration. Why are they safe? And why do they last for so long? Because the process that is applied to them is a high temperature process, let's say for products like meats and vegetables, temperatures up to 250 Fahrenheit or 121 Celsius for specific amount of time, depending on the product, to kill all the microorganisms that would be appropriate for that specific product. Uh, so we'll kill all the pathogens and all the spoilage microorganisms. Therefore, the products are commercially sterile. The same with the tomato-based products or the fruits. We need to apply a little bit less heat because the products are acidic and the acid helps to kill the microorganisms. How about the expiration dates or the use by dates or best buy? Well, those are set up by a manufacturer to ensure that when you open that product and you consume it, it has the best quality. But Really, they are safe to eat as long as uh, the uh, product indeed is intact. So you have a vacuum that there's no dents or there are no leakage, and you can certainly inspect the can or the container to make sure that is the case. And even though they would be, <coughs> excuse me, past the expiration date, they'll be safe to eat. Uh, the, these dates normally vary from one year to three years, but that doesn't mean that the product would be unsafe after that. It just means that the quality has deteriorated to a point that perhaps is no longer the same quality that you would expect. Changes over time include losses of vitamins, uh, maybe some oxidation, therefore changes in color and changes in flavor. And uh, sometimes changes in texture too, like your pickles become very soft. So even though they're safe to eat, the quality might not be uh, what you would expect. Uh, but overall, the macronutrients of the product will still be there. Your proteins, your carbohydrates, your calories, uh, your minerals will still be present in the food and they're safe to eat. How about frozen foods? Uh, if you find some meat in the freezer that you had forgotten that was there, or maybe you have some packaged products like pizza, and when you look at the best buy or expiration date, it's past uh, that. Well, with frozen products, uh, the freezing process will indeed ensure the safety too. Uh, what might happen is that you have some freezer burn uh, and the quality might be uh, compromised in that sense. But from the safety point of view, they'll be safe to eat as long as you'll follow the recommendations from the manufacturer that you throw the products in the refrigerator and then they are cooked to the temperature that is uh, appropriate for that product, typically at least 165 Fahrenheit. So thank you very much for the question. We're here to serve you and uh, send your questions if you have any other concerns. Thank you very much.